Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Tidal Tribe. It's important to note that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. So I've spent the last two hours on this game, and I have mixed feelings about it. I like it because it's very reminiscent of From Dust. And From Dust, you took on the role of a god of sorts, and you got to manipulate the terrain to do all sorts of different things. Like you can uh, have water channel through this particular area so that your guys can get by to their objective. Uh, lava flow will sometimes uh, mess up your villages, so you have to sort of block off the lava flow and make sure that your village is safe, that kind of thing. Well, Tidal Tribe focuses more on the water element side of things, and you'll be growing various plants. Now, the reason I don't like it is because the game can be a bit overwhelming and unintuitive in some places. But I've only been playing for two hours. This is the kind of game that you're going to have to read up on all the different kinds of plants in the game, what they like to grow next to, um, all that jazz. So here's a look at the main menu. There's story mode, challenge mode, free game, options mode. Under the options, um, pause the video at any point should you want to see more in greater detail. But um, you see screen resolution, full screen anti-aliasing, view distance, um, some other things like SSAO, reflections, other visual things like lens flare, water, film grain, that kind of thing. Controls, I've just been using WASD for everything. You are going to use left control to enter collect mode. Um, you don't have to. Uh, but you'll be able to walk around the environment first person, take fruit off of trees, and deliver them to people's homes. Or you can just be more of a god and float around and do things that way. Uh, shift is for left sprinting. Uh, left shift, rather, is for sprinting. I just mixed up my words. Taking a photo with Q, that's for various quests that you'll have. Sound sliders, just music and sound that way. And then language, FOV, story, bobbing, blood units. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you around a bit. Like I said, I am not an expert at this by any means. I've been playing for two hours. I find that I'm enjoying the game not knowing what I'm doing and just messing with the terrain. I'm still earning a positive score, so I must be doing something right, but I'm sure I could be doing better. So under story mode, I'm just going to hit start new game so I can show you. This is the I guess level select screen, you start off in M1 here, and the game will take you through a tutorial. I can't get any further than that. So there's also, if I hit tab, there's progress, there's poll, uh, players outstanding in its main objective, blah, 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 uh, abilities. So it looks like as I do these missions, I'll be gaining experience or ability points to put here. Swimming speed, gliding distance, sprinting speed, that kind of thing. Here's the options menu again, save and quit. Uh, I'm going to go and actually quit this, and I'll load up my save that I was working on. This is the first mission. Okay, so here I am. I'm right now floating in air. Again, mouse to look around, WASD to uh, move around. Left shift brings you down. If you land on the ground and then hit... You hit like double space bar, you'll start walking, and then you can enter, you can sprint with left shift, but you can enter collect mode with, let's see if I can find the tree first off, uh, there's some, I think that's coconut, I'm not sure what that is. So if I hit left control, I'll enter collection mode, and then I can hit left shift to interact with the tree. If you look in the upper right hand corner, Okay. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, there's some numbers there. It says like 0 out of 8, 2 out of 8. So I'm collecting fruits. Now here's the thing. If I re-enter God mode by hitting left control again, I lose everything that I'm carrying. So the idea here is deliver them to these houses. Um, I haven't fully figured out yet how these houses grow. Um, I'm imagining it's just over time. So if I want to deliver, I think it's... Space bar, there we go. So I just delivered some fruit to this house here. Yeah. <laughs> These people with the triangle heads. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of this motor. Some penguins. Alright, so let's let's double space bar to start flying. As you can see, um there's a lot going on here. And if I hit tab, this is where my my brain starts 
turning to mush. So here's the main screen. You can see your score. I need 500 points in order to complete the mission. Now this has been going up with me not really knowing what I'm doing. I've just been trying to create lakes, trying to get grass to grow, and that's that's the general premise of this game. Create, create grass and create trees and create fruit and food. There's some other stuff that happens that the villagers do that I don't fully know what goes on yet, but I'll get to that. So there's individual needs like pleasure, hygiene, fun, thirst, shelter, and wonder. How these guys satisfy that, I couldn't tell you. I'm Again, I'm still trying to figure all of that out. Um, fruit plant numbers, these are all the different plants that are currently on my island. Uh, there's looks like there's a trend, plus 12 there, minus 1 over there, plus 13 there. There's parasites that could happen. I haven't seen parasites yet. And there's some production graphs if you want to take a look at that. This is uh, analytic, analytic stream, I think. Map, now this is one complaint I do have. Nowhere on this map do I see myself. Like, I don't know where I am in relation to all of this stuff. I don't see, there's a key on the bottom left, sand, path, water, tree, fruit, tree. But I don't see my, I don't see where I am. How, like, the, the tutorial was like, okay, you need to go over, go to the, the marker or go here or if there's like there's this quest i'm supposed to take pictures of something find this mango fruit like all if you get past all the wall of text it wants me to take pictures i think of mangoes or something like polly's photo feast but i have no idea where i am to know where to go to do that so it's like i i don't like this map as it stands i want to see an x or something on this map to indicate where I am so that I can navigate. Um, I, I've tried, like, here's Old Town, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I get out of here, I'm, I'm looking for houses that are 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It might be a well, I'm not sure. Um, there's 4 there, there's 2 there. So that's what I mean, like, I, I this is this is overly cumbersome. I, I'm not exactly sure if I'm in the right area or not. So I've just been ignoring a lot of this stuff. Um, but you can filter, there's like show homes by uh, level, social state, uh, emergency, altitude, um, show other, fire, waste, billboards, uh, show plant age, fruit only or all, um, show plants, you can, you can filter by certain types. But again, without knowing where I am in relation to everything else, like, this means nothing to me. Like, if I wanted to track down cocoa trees, okay, fine, I see them on this map, but how do I get there? Where am I to get to these places? You know what I mean? So I, 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 I think the developer, I would like the developer to add a huge X somewhere. Wherever I am in the environment, I want an X to know where I am. That way I know if I'm getting closer or farther away from my target. Um, show need satisfaction, um, pleasure, hygiene, fun, thirst, shelter, wonder, uh, crafting talent, and so on. And there's, yeah, all this stuff <laughs> gave birth. Okay, so someone gave birth to somebody, someone died of old age. Okay. Myths. Um, now, this is cool. I like this part of it. As you collect food, you'll be able to level up. This is like a tech tree of sorts. So I can, if I want more, if I want tr cocoa trees to produce more fruit per day, I can upgrade, assuming that I've got the necessary, um, necessary fruit or items to do so. More soap berries, I'll spend 29 of the 28 that I have. More bananas, I have uh, 44, I need 16, upgrade that, and I'll upgrade that again. So I've just been doing this in the hopes that more things, yeah. I can't imagine not upgrading, you know, is bad. You know what I mean? I, I, I would assume that any upgrade you take is good. Now, pink is beautiful. Everyone wants to wear a pink shirt. I'll take... No, no, no forget it. Everyone should have some blue in their life, in my opinion. So, wiki. Um, there's tutorial, on or off. Uh, how to be a winner. This is where you can go to read about tons of stuff. Um, how do I win? Reach 500 points. How do I do that? Increase the level and or number of buildings by satisfying people's needs. But satisfying people's needs, like, that's where I'm a little iffy. Like, I, I imagine hunger is by 
feeding them. But as far as like hygiene and all that, like I guess put water everywhere. I, I, the tutorial didn't really cover that. Um, people, oh, there's more wiki stuff. There's to tourist guide. Um, this is a guide for um, the landscape, um, volcanic activity, water eroding sand. Um, yeah, there's just, again, there's a lot here. So feel free to read through this at your own leisure. I've gotten through some of it. Uh, and plants and fruits. Um, so if you want to see how everything grows in this game, what they prefer to be around, like gra the green square is, I guess, a requirement for, like coconut is along the top here, the first column. So coconut palm and coconut, I guess... So coconut needs grass, flowers, flout fern. I guess these are the things that they would want to be around in order to spawn. Whereas you can see the parasite column, no one wants to be around parasites. Okay, so, and if you want to take a further look at that, here's coconut palm. They prefer sea distance, altitude, sunlight, terrain, water distance. Um, and if I toggle through all these different trees, you can see their preference. But again, I'm, I don't care about, the, like, I just don't have the time to go through all of these and learn them because I have so many things I do and I have a full-time job. So I, at the moment, just enjoying myself, just messing around with the land and, and doing that. Society tab, um, again, not, not too familiar with this yet, but you can see um, society stats, class data, uh, wealth distribution. How, how, how I can change that, I have no idea. Uh, quests, uh, I showed you this tab already. There's supposedly a treasure map, um, but I don't know exactly. Um, if I, I've marked it on the map, so if you find that place and dig down a bit, you should be able to find the key and unlock the next part of the map. So I have to find this on the map, dig, and find a key. Okay, so there's some side things that you can do. Options, I've already shown you that. Okay, so let's just show you what it's like to manipulate land. Mouse wheel lets you choose between terraformer. Um, left mouse raises land and right mouse gets rid of land. So if I want to, like, let's say I want to bring the water further in, I'm going to right click, hold in right click and bring the, bring the land down. Uh, whether or not this is a good idea, I couldn't tell you, but... And whether or not the water actually stays here. Now, on occasion, the water will just flood in from waves. And there you go. See all that water now? Now, here's the thing. No, let's do this. Let's raise the land. I'll create like a little dam here. Now, in theory, this water should stay here, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, now you see I've created sort of like a lake. And then there's a stream protruding from that. Just going to lower this land a bit. So that's the terraforming tool. Um, I might want to raise land here. Prevent water from going down that hill. But as you add more lakes and more water, bodies of water... You'll see trees and grass growing, so um, I'm assuming that's what I want to do. That's a good sign. I'm basically just basically cover all of the sand with green, and to do that, try and try and get your lakes and your streams to go where you need them to go. So yeah, there's that, and then other tools. There's Earth Mover, which the tutorial did not cover. I have no idea what it does. Uh, if I just test it out real quick, left mouse button adds to that space, right mouse button removes it. So. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's any different than the terraforming tool, honestly. Shovel, same thing. It just seems to be a finer circle. There's chopstick. Again, I'm, it's just, I'm guessing that's just a finer circle. Smaller area kind of thing. Uh, there's a smoothing tool and a small smoothing tool. So if I want to flatten land, um, I would like I would like a tool, though. Like The smoother tool just flattens wherever you have the cursor. I'd like to, I want a level terrain tool. Like if I want it, if I, if I hover my mouse over 
terrain like this, and then I choose the level terrain tool, and if I hit left mouse button or something, I'd like any other land that I select to raise up to the level of my origin point. That that's I would like something like that, just to make, because right now I'm just I'm having to use my terraforming tool to get land to be as relatively close as flat as possible. Then I smooth it out, but having like a, a raise land or, or something like that or level terrain tool would make my life a heck of a lot easier so for example um let's see if i can find so, okay this mountain over here so let's say i wanted to make this larger so let's say i, I so if i hit smoothen right now let's, let's make smoother now you'll notice that it's smoothing down here like if i if i go down this bottom part is smoothing out but i want I want this to be the same height as this. So again, I'd like some sort of level terrain tool where I can left click here, drag over here, and the rest of this land will go up to meet and be the same level as this. That would make everything so much easier, but um, yeah, but that, that's another complaint that I have. Oh, there we go. Looks like my little my little stream hairs turn into a river, uh, or maybe at least a stream. Okay, nice. And we should see some we should see some green growing here where there wasn't before, as the result of this new water. I see a lake up there. Um, where don't I see water? All right, now this, uh, let's do something like this. Let's, um, I want to create like a dam here. And oh, there's a waller tool, I think. Wall erector. This doesn't physically erect walls, but it, it it's a very narrow, as you can see, it's a very narrow tool, and you can just sort of raise the land. So, like, I'm, I'm sort of creating, like, a little water crater here in the hopes of grabbing some water so that people can maybe build villages over here. At least something will grow over here, that kind of thing. I'm trying to catch this water. I just don't know if the waves will go that high. The waves will just come in every so often. There's nothing you can do to, to trigger it. It just seems to happen. I think one's coming in now, possibly. Yep, yeah, there's that. Let's just follow it. Uh... So there's that, right? Okay, so this is this is the this is the wall that I just built. Okay. So yeah, it looks like water is now just hanging out here. And I may want to maybe bring this down a bit, lower this terrain, so that it's closer to the water. So maybe things can, I don't know, uh, grow here. Another complaint I have, moving around in, moving around in... Uh, collection mode is very cumbersome. Like I, when I'm when I'm on the ground in normal mode, like if I just I get around much easier with this than if I'm now if I'm in collection mode now. Now my character doesn't jump, and he's he has more difficulty climbing things and getting out of situations. So it's very important that if you are going to start going into collection mode, that you create terrain that is not only viable for your villagers, but for you too. Like, I might want to smooth this out a bit, for example. Uh, getting around this may be a problem. Like, trying to, like I can't climb up this if I wanted to. And, co like, in collection mode, like, I just can't. Now, if I get out of collection mode, now I'm able to climb it. So it's like, when I'm in collection mode, my, my ability to move around becomes a lot less. So again, I'm not in collection mode right now. I'm running up the hill. I'm here, right? Now, let's do the same thing in collection mode. Left control. Now, if I try and walk up this thing, eh, see? 
That's what I mean. So, collection mode, your mobility is a lot more limited. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. It just seems rather silly. Uh, so, let's just fly back up. And, yeah, that's the gist of it. Again, there's some more advanced mechanics that I haven't seen yet or gotten to yet. Um, but it's it's a cool idea. I, I like... I, I think From Dust did the land and the graphics... Like, the, the land manipulation and the graphics better. Um, but I do see the potential in this one. But there is a bit of a learning curve. Like, with From Dust, I, I managed to get into that fairly easily... This one, with all of the different types of trees, uh, From Dust didn't have this level of detail. Um, From Dust had nothing like this. From Dust was create flat land um, near water, let, let the grass grow, and keep doing that as much as you can. Here, it's there's some more detail. There's, okay, well, now you've you flattened the land, water is nearby. But is the land high enough? Is it flat enough? Is it in direct sunlight of this? Is it is it next to this other thing within accordance to this chart? So I guess it all depends on how you want to come at this game. You can come at this game like I am. I'm at score 150. I haven't been doing anything. I'm at score 152 right now. 155, it's going up, um, as the result of me just messing around with the land and creating lakes. So it looks like in theory... Casually, you can still play this game without knowing what you're doing, but I have an idea. I have a feeling that you'll get more enjoyment out of this game once you learn all the little ins and outs of it. But again, I, as I said, I I wish I had time to do that. I just don't. So um, there you go. A uh, quick look at um, this lovely little game. I just I think that, like I said, a couple of quality of life updates would serve the game well. Uh, mainly, where am I in relation t to the, the map here? I think that would be that would be nice to have. Um, maybe some other ways to make the game a bit more uh, user-friendly, beginner-friendly to get into. Um, again, the, uh, the tutorial that I did prior to this didn't cover what I need to do to what what are these crafting talents why why do I want them to craft these things and how do I get them to craft these things do I just have to provide them the tree type and they do the rest that, that's stuff I haven't gotten to yet so yeah um if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish this is Vince thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time